morning everybody and welcome to this week's video. Um, hopefully the A1's not going to be too noisy for you. I've just actually walked from, from home uh, this morning. I'm going to be doing a wildlife video this week, hopefully. Um, it's been quite difficult recently. I always find this time of year is quite hard for sort of wildlife. So I've done a few macro videos because that tends to be the time of year for that but uh, I'm hoping this morning to get some roe deer images and hopefully some film as well um, just really come out of the house and again because this is local to me what I've noticed is that the farmer started to um, get the crops in from the fields behind this little wood and for the last two or three days there's been a, uh, I've noticed the ears actually, that's about all I could see is the ears of a couple of roe deer um, that have been in the crop. And what I'm, what I'm hoping is this morning is that, um, that they're gonna still be here. Um, I saw that he was, he'd got the combine harvester in there yesterday, so not sure what the state of play is now, but it's, a case of getting across this little back and uh, just going and having a look really. I did come across last night as he was using the combine harvester and just made myself a little bit of a path through the nettles because I haven't been across there for such a long time. The nettles are sort of head height so what I want to try and do this morning is get in there as quietly as possible so as I say, what I've done, I've made a little track across the edge of the wood. There's not much wind this morning. It was in the right direction last night, so I'm hoping it's the same again today. And uh, hopefully those roe deer will come out onto the field. Fingers crossed anyway. But yeah, I've got to make my way across the bank. I'm going to go and um, try and be as quiet as possible while I do this. Um, because if they are in the wood, obviously I want to try and get through the wood and onto the edge of the field on the other side without them knowing I'm there. So that's the first plan. And the first bit of that is to get across this gate without making it rattle. So I'll catch you a little bit later. There is an electric fence that I've got to try and get under. Um, my tip is not to touch one of these because they do give you a bit of a whack. Unlike, um, something like a sheep one, yeah, these come a bit keen, so. It's nice that the cows aren't here this morning, they're crossing the other field, so I can see them. Um, they can be a bit of a pain, and they can give you away, actually. Right, here's our point of access. I wish, wish we had more, more light this morning. It's very dull. I mean, it's not even six o'clock yet, so I'm hoping it lightens up a bit. But there's a, some light cloud. I've got across the back now. I've got to get up. Just spin around and show you. Got to get up here somewhere. I mean, this is, I've actually cleared myself a trap, but it's quite a steep bank, so. This is where it's going to be difficult and I've got to try and do it without um, making too much noise but and holding a vlogging camera and carrying a um, camera with a big lens on it as well so we'll, uh, we'll see how quiet we can be. <laughs>
it up to the um, edge of the field. I'm just going to try and get down there so that I've got a clear view of the edge of this woodland and hopefully the deer will come out if they're still here. Um, it looks like he bailed some of the straw from yesterday but then he's left some of it as well so and that's on the edges. I don't know if that's going to help me or not but also got the fishermen about 250-300 metres away on the edge of the river. That doesn't really tend to bother the deer. I think they're used to it, seeing cars there. That's been my experience in the past anyway. So yeah, I think I'm just going to get laid down on the edge here and try not to move around too much. And uh, hopefully they'll come out. Right, this is my position for the next couple of hours. I've got a hare in front of me. I don't know whether you can hear that buzzer on this microphone. There's a buzzer as well. Um, I'm just watching this hare actually zigzag down. I'm not sure whether it's going to come this way or not. You're never really sure with hares. There's actually, I can see three now. So I'm going to keep my eye on those. But um, yeah, literally just set up on the edge of the wood, right in the corner. The sun comes up if it comes up over in that direction, so it should get a little bit lighter, hopefully. I don't think we're going to see much sun this morning, but... And then really it's just a case of waiting and seeing actually if these roe deer are in this wood and they are going to come out into the field. What tends to happen is when the crop has been bought in, what I've seen before is they'll start picking bits of stuff up off the floor that's been left by the combine, so that's what I'm hoping to do now. There's always obviously a chance that they've moved on overnight to another area. Um, that's nothing really I can do about that. I'm just really hoping that they're still here and they're going to come out on the edge of this woodland. Um, there goes the buzzard. But it's really nice after, you know, all the months where this crop has been so high to be able to get a clear view across these fields. Um, everything's so enclosed when, when all the crops high around here. I mean, if you've got fields that have just got cattle or something in them, then obviously it's, you know, they, they kept right quite low by the cattle grazing, but this has just been, say so it's just so high that you can't see any of the hares, you can't see the deer. It's literally just the tops of their ears that I've seen in the crop uh, when I've been out walking the dog, so... No, it's just a waiting game. Right, I've literally just seen the deer come out on the edge of the wood. I circle back in, I've seen one anyway. I'm just hoping that they, they come back out. So at least I know they are here. Keeping their eyes on the fisherman's car. There are two people moving around on the riverbank, I think, but they've not, not noticed and they've not seen me here, so I'm flat to the ground. Um, just could do with them coming a bit closer, and I could do with this light getting better. Damn it. Keep shooting. following he's following her she must be in in season he's very interested oh some x-rated deer behavior it's 
just brilliant to see these. I'm so happy to see them after, as I say, not being able to get out and, and see anything and knowing they're here but not being able to get any shots. mistake I have made is I've put this jacket on um, I just wandering around in the field now hopefully they'll come a bit closer but yeah one, one mistake I have made I've put this jacket on because I knew I was going to have to find my way through nettles and it's quite a thick material and um, I know I could sort of move the nettles away with my arms yeah, I knew I could move the nettles away with my arms, but um, I've put my battery in one of these top pockets, my spare batteries, and I've just realised it's Velcro closing, and that is going to make a hell of a noise if I have to change my battery, so these dog back into the woods again. Uh, to that opportunity to quietly try and get a couple of spare batteries out and just lay them down at the side of me so I'm ready and I can do it silently without um, the ripping of velcro or anything like that so just come back into the wood I do that now I've got this crazy idea of getting a really old 300mm uh, vintage lens um, and um, seeing if I can actually do anything with that as regards wildlife um, with manual focus so that would be interesting it'd be actually be interesting to do something like this because once the deer come out although autofocus is makes it easier see that you know you couldn't you could manual focus and um, when they're out just eating on the edge they wouldn't take some images it'd be interesting to see what the quality of those is like so yeah i might challenge myself and do that at some point yeah so i hope you enjoy those little um forays into different types of photography i think as a wildlife photography especially um, i think as a wildlife photographer especially you do get periods where well, I do anyway, I'm, I'm presuming everybody else does, is where nothing goes right, like um, your the, you check on the weather, you check three different weather apps, go out, the weather's not what it's supposed to be, and it ruins your shoot, you just can't, can't do it. You do have to make everything work in your favour, and when I say make everything work in your favour, just sometimes you're just not on, you know, you're just not on the same page as the wildlife, and uh, it can be very frustrating. And it's at those times when, as a photographer, it is really useful if you have other photo photographic interests that you can drop into. As they do say, change is as good as a rest. And you know, I'd urge all of you if you're going through one of these periods where you know you walk round a corner and the animal sees you first and you know, you're just a second behind what you need to be, then just try something else for a bit. And you might find when you come back to do your wildlife that um, 
you know, everything's improved and that change has really done me good. Anyway, I've got some hairs coming towards me now, so I'm gonna crack on with this and hope these deer come back out. Right, it's getting quite uh, quite late on now. I think I've caught most of the action for today. I hope you've enjoyed this this week's video. It was nice to get out with a big lens again and do some wildlife photography. Um, and especially being able to do it close to home, literally. Probably 300 metres from my back door. Um, and so nice for this to be opened up again so that you can actually see the wildlife. It's been quite frustrating for a couple of months now that everything's had so much colour and everything's been so quiet. But uh, it looks like we're getting to that period where things are starting to to move again so there's going to be more wildlife videos coming from me in the coming months and more landscape videos as well actually um, got quite a lot of traveling to do in the next two months really potentially um, but yeah there's going to be a lot of traveling so uh, I'll try and uh, utilize that and get some more videos done as well so anyway as I say I hope you've enjoyed this one from close to home um, I'll probably stick around for another few minutes and see if anything uh, happens but other than that I'll put any images that you haven't seen up at the end of this video and uh, wish you well until next week and uh, hope you have a good week as always if you've not subscribed to the channel, then please think about subscribing and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week for another one. Cheers. Bye.